Interesting. Then, well, to, to follow up to that question, though, that was a, a very, very insightful response. To be a bit more maybe conspiratorial about this, do you think that this could at all be the result of an intentional push? For like, sure. Do, could this actually be? Is this has this just happened on accident? Is a sort of accidental byproduct of of you know capitalist growth and technological progress? Or do you think that perhaps there are actually very powerful people, elites, the corporations that run these entertainment companies like Netflix mm -hmm. and Instagram and, and TikTok and all of these powerful people? Yeah. Do you think that they could be pushing this on purpose to essentially? to placate and, and, and sedate the population? Yeah, absolutely. So there is um, there are people who are allergic to that word conspiracy. And if you say it's a conspiracy, they shut their brains right off and they say there could never be any such thing as a conspiracy. The reality is that everything is a conspiracy. Everything. You go to the grocery store, there's been a conspiracy to put those products in front of you. You go to uh, the courthouse, there was a conspiracy to write the laws that govern your life. Like everything is a conspiracy. So when we are talking about conspiracy, we have to differentiate between there's like this cartoonish version of a, you know, a, a man in a, in a, uh, like a robe, like this, this character, you know, with the dark eyes and the, uh, under the hood. And, and they're all in rooms with wands doing magic spells. It, it, I'm not necessarily sure that it's those people doing it, but for certain there are people who understand the effects of the technology on people. And it's like in Fight Club, they say that, uh, you know, they, they have, they have the, the cars, the guy works for an insurance um, adjuster or something. And if they make a car that has a defect and the defect is killing people, they, they multiply the, you know, the car exploding. The, what is the cost of a settlement uh, multiplied by how many, uh, times will they have to do it? And if that is lower than the cost of the recall, then they don't do one. So they, they, if it costs less to let people die, they let people die. This is, this is in reality, how a lot of, you know, capitalistic, um, decisions are made. Uh, CEOs have to make decisions about w whatever, not letting their workers go to the bathroom. If that's what makes more profits, people are, uh, like Pfizer, I think, is the most sued company of all time because they keep releasing products that kill people. There was just that Ozempic recently. There's been so many weight loss pills that always hurt people. And and yet every time they come out with a new weight loss pill, they put it in the commercials and people go, oh, this one must be fine. They take it and they get hurt. There's Everything is conspiracy. So when we're talking about content, online content, television content, and how it affects people, 100% yes, they have a very advanced understanding of how that works. I mean, I studied it in college. You can take courses on, you can get a PhD in persuasion, and you learn the principles about what to show people, what words do you use, what colors do you use even, and what effect does that have on persuading them. They, they find out what those things are, then they design them and put them in front of you, and then you think things that you think are your own thoughts, but are actually coming from this, the, the hooded robe character there. So yeah, it's a conspiracy. It's, it's a thousand conspiracies, a million conspiracies. It's conspiracies within conspiracies, but knowing where they're coming from and what the contents are is impossible because the whole mm -hmm. point of those things is, is keeping them quiet. So if we were going to combat something like that, we would need really, really broad uh, sort of laws. We would need legal. This is why I talk about the government all the time. If we were going to combat the effect that this technology has on rotting people's brains and causing the immaturity crisis, you would need really broad laws on what's allowed and what's not. People talk a lot about how in China they... They don't show the kids, you know, butts and boobs and, and swear words and, you know, cartoon characters. The Chinese TikTok has science and, and um, uh, nationalism. China's great and everything. What you show people is what they become. What, what, what you put on here is what you get in here. And uh, people don't want to believe that. People are too proud to believe that. They want to think that they can look at something and then make up their own minds. And it's broadly not true. So, you know, on the one hand, yes, it is conspiracy upon conspiracy upon conspiracy. On the other hand, no one's ever going to have the power to know what they are and how they work. 
Like, we're not going to be able to point people out and say, oh, it's coming from this place. Like, how they talk about uh, uh, TikTok going to the Chinese Communist Party and that having a, you know, sure, that's not a good look. But what effect is it having exactly and what are they doing exactly? It's really just speculative. I see. I see. Interesting. Well, then, I I think that raises the question of, is there a means of resistance then to this conspiracy? I mean, individually, culturally, society, how can we combat this in any way? I mean, do you think it, it can even be overturned or reversed at all? Or- I think I think that, oh God, it's such a big question. The, the way that I'm resisting it is just by showing people how their own minds work. And I'm showing them, and I'm even using, you know, tricks of the trade to to get people to think in ways that they didn't think before, to show them how they can be made to think in ways that they didn't think before, so that they can become aware of the f- effects of media on their mind. That's how I'm trying to help. The The only way that I think we can um, get around the effects that these things have on us are creating b- very viral spreads of culture that get people away from this sort of thing or by changing it at the source, which we don't have the power to do. This is billions and billions, trillions of dollars behind getting people to think certain things and act certain ways. So I'm just trying it from the ground up. I'm trying to, as much as possible, get a following of people who understand things like, uh, uh, I made a video about sex in the city and how it persuades people that they should be like the main character, which is a which is, if you live like that, your life is not, has a very low chance of turning out well. But they make her seem sexy and cool and smart and fun and strong. And so people model that. I, I'm just trying to, as much as I can, get people to understand how that works so that they can get it out of their own lives and perhaps uh, warn other people. But without any institutional power, I'm like uh, uh, that parable of the uh, the kid throwing... Um, starfish back in the ocean, there's a big wave that washes starfish up, and there's a kid throwing them back one by one, and the old guy goes, you'll never get them all, and he picks up one and he goes, I got that one. I'm just trying to get a a, a few starfish right now. 